Hi everybody, it's Miss Wareham here, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the way that we get our messages across online. Now, I have here behind me four emoji faces. One, happy. Two, meh. Three, sad. And four, bad. I'm going to say the word hello four different times, and I want you to show me on your fingers whether it looks like I'm saying it happy, meh, sad, or mad. Let's do the first one. Hello. Now, which one of these would you say? I would agree that was strangely happy. Um, you can tell. What clues did you use to know that I was happy? What were you looking at? Did you see me smile? Did you see my eyebrows go up in a big arch rainbow shape? You can see the creases of my face pull back. You can see my eyes look happy. And you can hear it in my voice. All of those facial cues help somebody understand really what it is that's going on, that how somebody's feeling when they're talking to you. So let's try the next one. Hello! Which one does that seem like to you? To me, that seems mad. And you could use those same cues um, and the tone of my voice to know how I was feeling. How about this one? Hello. I think that seems like sad. You can see my chin gets all poofy and my mouth pulls down like this and my eyes look sad and my eyebrows get all wrinkly. And then fun. Hello. That's pretty meh, right? There's no facial movement whatsoever. And by using these clues and cues, people understand what the other people are saying. You can listen to the voice, you can look at the faces. When we're working online, we don't have that same opportunity a lot of the time. Um, we are typing things and we're expecting that people understand what we're saying. But if you just saw the word hello, you wouldn't really know how it is that I was feeling when I was saying it. Um, also, people will make jokes online and they'll just type them out. And I do it too, and then afterwards I look and I realize maybe somebody didn't understand that I was joking. People don't always get what you're saying when you're just typing the words. And so today I just want you to really be thoughtful about what it is that you put online and make sure that the messages that you're typing are very clear so that people can understand what it is you're trying to say and how you're trying to say it without having the advantage of being able to look at your face or hear your voice. Um, and so I hope that you can all be thoughtful users of technology and really be aware of the power of your words. Thanks so much. I miss you all and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.